Welcome back to Lobo Sisters! Today we're going to show you how we made our Nynamo bars. So first you want to start by crushing and grinding up in a food processor either graham crackers. Um, we use Maria biscuits as this will help in making the base. Then you want to add some crushed almonds and some coconut. You want to mix that together as this will be the base for your Nynamo bars. Then you want to start with the second half of the ingredients for the first layer. So you want to start with your melted butter in a bowl. You want to add your granulated sugar and your cocoa powder. You then want to mix this together and then you're going to put it on the stove. So this is the consistency it should be before. And then once it's off the stove, you then want to add an egg. So crack an egg and then slowly add it to your mixture. You want to make sure you're continuously whisking. That way it doesn't cook the eggs while you're pouring it. So the first time you remove this from the gas, you want to make sure that all the sugar is dissolved. And then the second time, you want to make sure it's smooth and glossy and it is now safe to eat the eggs. <laughs> After removing it off the gas, you then want to add the first half of the coconut, almond and biscuit mixture. Mix that together and then add the second half. Once it's incorporated, you then want to put it into a pan. We use a baking pan with parchment paper, that way it doesn't get stuck. And then once you're done with that, we use a ramkin, that way we can firmly press it and it'll form a nice, thick and solid first layer. While working on your next two layers, I do recommend putting it in the fridge, that way it's more solid. Now for your second layer. You want to start with softened butter, vanilla custard powder, and then powdered sugar. Lastly, you add heavy cream and then you whisk that together. Once it's finished whisking, you then want to remove your chilled base from the fridge. You then want to add your custard frosting and spread it out evenly. We used an offset spatula and it worked very well for us. Also, you can chill this in the fridge, that way it'll be easier when putting on your final layer. Now for the last layer. So you want to warm up your chocolate and your butter and mix that together. Once it's mixed together, you can then put it on your second layer. And again, we use an offset spatula as it really does help in getting in those corners. Pro tip, if you want clean and sharp edges, I recommend heating the knife before cutting it. You can use a blowtorch or run it under hot water. And there you go, a yummy dessert with a crunchy base, a creamy filling, and a smooth chocolate.